So in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the new Cooler Master MH630, and I'm gonna compare that to the JBL Quantum 200. Now, both of these are right at $60, but I'll leave a link in the description below with current pricing and more information for both of these. Let's do an unboxing for the Cooler Master. I've already unboxed the 200, so I'm not gonna do that again. So let's go ahead and get started. So the new Cooler Master MH630 gaming headset. It's got Hi-Fi 2.0 stereo sound, omnidirectional boom mic, and this is for PC or console or even mobile devices. It's also got removable swiveling ear cups with mesh fabric for breathability, and it also has 50 millimeter drivers. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we've got. Looks like it comes with a velvet-like material, travel pouch, and quick start guide. Why would you need a quick start guide again? Here's your detachable, flexible microphone. Pretty nice looking mic, really. Wow, this Y adapter, this is actually nicer than what I normally see. Both that and the 3.5 millimeter cable are both made of nylon material. It looks like really nice quality. Okay, so right off the bat, Man, these look like really good quality. Super soft mesh cushion there for the headband. If you're familiar with Arctis headsets, where they use a mesh fabric, these definitely have that kind of vibe. Maybe just a little bit different. My skin is so dry, it like sticks right to them. Listen to this. I definitely like that they fold flat. These things have a ton of adjustability. All your controls and ports are on the bottom of your left ear cuff. You've got your volume controls, mute button, headphone jack, and a cover for where the microphone goes. Overall, I really like what I'm seeing. Pretty standard metal sliders here on the side. This headband feels a little flimsy. Maybe they're just making it that way for durability. Then on the outside of the ear cups is just a real simple design with a purple accent around the outside. I gotta say, I'm really liking the design on these. The microphone on this just feels really solid. You can pretty much adjust it to any angle and it actually stays there, unlike some other headsets I've tested. I think that covers most of the basics. On the new Cooler Master MH630, I can tell already this is gonna be a really close comparison. You can see these next to each other. They're totally different shapes. The headbands are different materials, different thicknesses. The JBL headset does look a little more expensive. The ear cup cushions actually look thicker too on the JBL versus the Cooler Master, but you can't always judge by that. One thing I don't like about the JBL is you don't have a detachable cable, but let's go ahead and start testing these out and find out which one is the better gaming headset. Now this is a mic test for the JBL 200 gaming headset. This is compatible with PC, console, and mobile devices. First thing I notice is this one seems to record quite a bit louder than the Cooler Master. This is compatible with PC, console, and mobile devices. If you're looking for a $60 gaming headset, you'll definitely want to put these two on the top of your list. This is a mic test for the Cooler Master MH630. To me, if you're wanting the more comfortable and better sounding gaming headset, I'd probably give a slight advantage to the Cooler Master. However, if you want the one with the better microphone, I think you gotta go with the JBL 200. So hopefully this video gave you a little more info on the Cooler Master MH630 and the JBL 200. It's crazy how good headsets are getting in that $60 price range. Now this is a mic test for the JBL 200 gaming headset. Now when it comes to which has the better sound, I think both of these are actually pretty decent. I think JBL for the price. I think JBL, I think JBL has a little bit better detail and seems to be a tad more crisp. The Cooler Master seems to have slightly better bass, which I prefer, and I notice it the most when listening to music. You'll be able to hear direction of footsteps and which direction people are shooting at you from with either of these gaming headsets, but both seem pretty average when it comes to overall audio. I actually like the sound of the JBL 300 better than both 
both of these, if using the USB adapter, on my PC anyways. So if I had to choose between these just based on better sound, I'd have to give the slight advantage to the Cooler Master MH630. Now for some reason, when recording these mic tests, the Cooler Master seemed to be a little bit more quiet than the JBL 200, which means you're probably going to have to talk a little bit louder using that one. Now I like the removable mic on the Cooler Master a little bit better just because it's nice to be able to take it off when you don't need it and you have a little bit more adjustability than on the JBL 200 but both mics seem to be good quality. And when it comes to which has the better sounding microphone, you'll have to let me know in the comments below which you think sounds better. This is a mic test for the Cooler Master MH630. This is compatible with PC, console, and mobile devices. You'll definitely want to use headphones for this second half of the video as I'll be giving you my thoughts on each headset while using each microphone. This one is really close. You ever put on a headset and right away your reaction is, ah, yeah that feels so good. Well that's what I get when I try on the Cooler Master headset. The ear cups comfortably fit over top of my ears. But then when I put on the JBL 200 gaming headset, oh man, this one's pretty comfortable too. I gotta tell you, that usually doesn't happen for me. So on a scale of super comfortable being a 10, I'd probably give Cooler Master a 9.5 and JBL 200 a 9. Mainly because the JBL clamps down on my head just slightly more than the Cooler Master. Although one downside to the Cooler Master is when you're taking it on and off, the headband to me just seems a little too flimsy. Now the JBL headset also fits over top of my ears, but it is just a little bit tighter than the Cooler Master. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.